Are we rolling? Ready to rock. What's up, dog? How you doing? Man, good to see you. Man, I thank you. Back in Minnesota. Yeah, huh? what's up, man? Thank you for having me, bro. Oh, no, thanks for having me. How was your day? It's good. It's Practice? Good. It's all good, man. Here in Minnesota, with the man that's making all the noise, Mr. Adam Thielen. I've heard this story. You got to take me through our first meeting, because I do not <laughs> remember. You got to take me through our first meeting. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, you know, first time to training camp. Uh, I was probably maybe eight, nine years old. And, you know, big Randy Moss, Chris Carter fan. Uh, Dante was the quarterback at the time. And, uh, you know, I had a, a mutual friend that knew Dante. His dad did. And, right. And, and Dante kind of waved you down and said, hey, you got to meet these guys. And I think you were in like a rush or something. You're like, oh, we'll see you later. <laughs> and, uh, and then finally he got you down. You know, Dante was able to flag you down. And I, I met you and got your autograph. So uh, pretty cool moment, obviously, being from Minnesota. Being there, Minnesota State, Mankato, you know, you didn't have the look, you didn't have the accolades, you weren't invited to the combine. You know, talk to me a little bit about your game plan to reach the NFL, take, take me through it. I knew what my strengths were. I knew that I could catch the ball. I knew I had good hands. I knew I had good ball skills. And uh, so I think the thing for me, I just needed to go and prove that I could run a fast 40. So basically I just kind of researched online on how I can get a shot, how I can show uh, what I can was do. Was it that easy? It, it was that easy. The crazy part is, uh, so I had to pay, I don't know, what was it 250 bucks, maybe 500 bucks uh, to go to this combine. It was okay. at uh, Chicago Bears facility. And I show up thinking like it's gonna be a bunch of college, you know, division one guys, division two guys, you know, a bunch of different uh, athletes. And, and there was a bunch of guys there that probably never played football before. <laughs> uh, ran a 4.45 at the Super Regional Combine. And, and that was kind of uh, when I knew that, hey, I, I can do this. I just gotta uh, get the right opportunity. So after you got that call to come here, hometown. Yeah. This your team? Yeah, it was crazy. I mean, uh, at that point, uh, it was kind of just, you know, I didn't really know what was going on because you know, I didn't get drafted. I didn't right. get signed after free agency. It was just basically, hey, come try out. I was like, hey, sounds good to me. I'll come try out. So if you didn't have, you know, the combine, the football, what else was in your life? I knew that I was going to have to have a, a backup plan because I knew it wasn't going to be 100% that I was going to make the NFL. I had some internships lined up. I was in the interview uh, for one of the internships, and, and the guy asked me, what would you do if your dream job be if you could do anything you want? And I said NFL football player, and, and the guy kind of laughed. What's his name? <laughs> I don't, I don't remember the guy's name, but. Uh, well, I'm gonna tell you what. Out. I hope you watching this, <laughs> because since you laughed at Mr. Thielen, laughs now back at you, sir. <laughs> I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, but you know our position is predominantly an African American position, and it's not dominated, you know, by white guys. What motivation do you have? knowing that the odds are somewhat stacked up against you. Yeah, honestly, I, I don't even think about that. I love to compete. And when I'm on the field, I'm not thinking, oh, shoot, I'm a white guy. The motivation comes from other things. Is there any trash talking going on amongst you guys back there? Or? You know, I've had guys say, uh, you're pretty good for a white guy. See, see which, what I'm saying? Which is interesting, because I don't know whether I was supposed to take that as a compliment or, or not. This quarterback of yours is tearing airwaves up. So with Case Keenum, is he the future? of the of the Minnesota Vikings or would you say he's more like he has the hot hand so don't change it <laughs> you know that, that's a tough question for me because uh, you know I'm I'm so laser focused into what I'm doing but I do know he's the future this week <laughs> and uh, he's a guy that we have a lot of faith and trust in uh, he's just a great leader and a guy that's gonna go out there and make plays and uh, you know coming from where I came from um, you know, I kind of understand his situation. You know, there's a lot of people that uh, doubted him yeah. and, and still probably doubt him. Yeah. And as people probably still doubt me. Right. So um, I think that's kind of cool. I love when, when people kind of say, screw that. I just love to play the game. Big game in Atlanta. You know, they have a fast secondary. What do you think you need to continue to do to keep this hot streak going? So the big thing this week is, is I know that they're a big zone team. And so it's trying to find those, those holes. And it's different than a team that's playing a bunch of man because you're not trying to find holes, you're trying to beat the guy across from you. Uh, trying to figure out what things I can do to, to create separation. I'll give you a tip. The biggest thing for me in man to man, which is being precise, coming in and out my break. Mm -hmm. But whenever I seen a lot of zone, I knew I could play, play within the defense. I could stem out, but still straighten up, run and dig. I could stem you in, straighten you up, and still run and dig. So anytime you're seeing a defense, you're talking about how you're gonna do things different. Anytime you're seeing zone, you know where you need to be in the zone 
Don't just run straight off the ball. Right. All, All right, right. I love that. All right, Appreciate bro. that. Appreciate you, yeah, Dad. For sure.